Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Evercrest. My name is Brittany. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, we're so glad that you are here. Today we're going to be unboxing this really cool smart planter that we have right beside us here. Um, this is from Ray Galaxy and I'm really excited about this thing. Thank you for sending this out to us. We are going to open it up and I can't wait to see all that this thing can do. Um, so on the box here, it says that it has built-in speakers, air purifier, humidifier, flower pot, desk lamp, alarm, a clock, oxygen, and temperature. Um, and this is called the E-Cube Green. Um, the model number is RG222. So that's what model number it is. And with all of our unboxings, of course, there will be a link to this in the description below. So if you're interested in this product, be sure to check out the description. But we're going to go ahead and just get into this thing today. So we're going to open it up here. And this is a really nice box. It says on the box to not discard it, to use it as like a desk organizer or something like that, which is kind of cool. Um, so we're going to get it out here. The box here has like a world map, calendar, like the stages of plant growth, which is all kind of cool. So we're going to set that to the side. And we have some instructions here. And then this little thing right here is our unit. So this is what it looks like. Um, that's the front of it. So let's see, I'm not sure how to open this thing. Okay, so the top just kind of like pushes open like this and then we can pull up on the extension bar in the back. So that's as far as it'll go. So this up here is our LED light. This is what's going to give your plant light. Um, I assume this is also the night light portion of this system but we're going to find out. So in the system we have, let me just do these one at a time. We have a bag here. Let me see what's in this. That's far. Um, we have a bunch of like filter things and then we have a string. I'm guessing this is going to be some type of like water, self watering system, which is fun. I didn't realize this had that. Um, we have, I'm assuming the power cord here. Um, we have two funnels, so just little funnels here, and then we have whatever that is. That could be just packaging. We'll have to wait and see. Um, this is what the inside of the system looks like. Pretty interesting. So let me take a look at the instructions here, and we'll see how to set this up. Okay, so I think I got this figured out. So we have our planter here and to get it set up, the first thing we need to do is remove our inner basket here. This is where our plants are actually going to be potted up in soil. Um, unlike some of the other systems that we've done that are technically hydroponic systems and are soilless, um, this will need soil which is cool. So we're going to go ahead and take this out and set it aside for a second. And then we're also inside your planter here. Let me see if I can get that out of the way. There's on this side right here, we're going to lift up this panel that was over there. Let me bring you guys in a little bit closer so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Okay, so here we have our planter and this piece was right here it pushed down all the way down in here we just remove this and then taking one of these little filters we're just going to put it in this little slot here and this is a filter for the humidifier um, so I wasn't sure if they were just going to kind of say that the plants were like adding humidity to the air or what but this actually has its own little humidifier right here at the bottom that can add moisture back to the air which is really cool so that's what that little filter is right there that's for the humidifier then we can go ahead and place our little piece back up here and we are going to fill the bottom of this system with water over here on the sides on both sides you can see right here this is a water gauge so you can really see the level of the water which is really cool um, in the bottom of the system without having to take the whole thing apart 
And this piece actually goes back on top here. Um, there's one more step that we need to do with this, but I wanted to just show you while we're talking about the water, that's what these little funnels are for. Um, you can put this little funnel either side of your system here, and this allows you to refill the bottom of the container here because there's a hole that goes all the way down the side here and into the bottom of this container without having to remove this piece and get all messy with your plant and stuff like that. So that's really cool. So the next step we need to do is we need to take this little piece of cotton string here and we're going to tie a knot towards the top of it, just like this. Might have to tie more than one, we'll see. And we're going to feed this string down through the large hole, the larger one right here in this top basket piece. <clears throat> okay, so just like that. So you can see it's hanging out the bottom and the knot catches it up here on the top. And then we're going to take this piece here, um, which is like a fabric kind of wicking mat. And we're gonna place that in the bottom here and what this is going to do is it's going to bring up moisture from the bottom of the reservoir here or up this cotton rope to this wicking mat where this whole thing is going to wick up moisture and then feed it into our soil and ultimately into the roots of our plants. So now that that's done, we can go ahead and set this back in our system. Okay, so now that we have all of that done, um, we can go ahead at this point and either add the soil to the system and start planting, or we could add the water. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just add the water to the bottom of the system first. And you just wanna fill the water up to the top of your uh, water indicator over here on the side. So as long as you can see that water level sort of at the top of that little indicator right here, you're gonna know that it's full and that's where we want it. Okay, so we have our system filled up with water. And one thing that I noticed is you wanna make sure that both sides of the system are filling up with water because that one side kind of has that plastic piece that goes over the top. There is still a hole there for water to drain down in, um, but you just kinda of wanna make sure that you are getting water in both sides evenly. So then we're gonna go ahead and take and put this back on top. And from here, that cotton rope down there is just gonna start drawing up that water that we placed in the bottom. And we can go ahead and fill this with soil. So I just have some soil here sitting beside me and we're just gonna put a little bit of soil in here. I don't want too, too much because my plants already have a decent amount of soil on them. And this reservoir is not super huge. Now this, I think, you know, kind of lends itself a little more to a, um, like an ornamental, something for flowers or some beautiful house plant. But I also think you could definitely grow a type of food out of this. You could grow a small tomato plant, a uh, dwarf tomato, or you could grow some lettuce, you could grow some basil, whatever you like. You could definitely grow food in this. So I think that's probably enough soil. Today we're going to just be putting some house plants in it. Now I have two different types of house plants here and I was honestly kind of hoping to put both of them in there but I don't think they're both going to fit. So we're not going to force them. We're just going to put this guy in. What is this? A purple waffle. Let's see. There's like a regular name. Oh yeah. No, I can't say his real name. My full name is Hemographius Alternin. It's called the purple waffle. That's what it's called. Honestly, this plant is so pretty. I'm gonna see if I can get it up close for you guys. See the, the top is this really glossy, beautiful green, but then look at the back. It's these beautiful purple leaves, and they are very waffly. They're very crinkly looking. Um, right here, my cat chewed on that leaf a little bit, so poor guy's been through some things, but really beautiful plant. So we're gonna just take this guy out of his cup here and take the wicking thing out because we have another one now. We don't need that one. And this looks really healthy. It's a really nice root system on this guy already. 
That's awesome. So we're just going to nestle him down in here and we're going to put some dirt in around the sides now that I got him in there just to make sure that he is good and comfy in there. We don't want any um, air around the roots. That's not good for it. We really, really want it to be nestled in where the roots are not touching air. Of course, always making a gigantic mess, which you shouldn't do, right? No messes allowed. So we just pack that soil in around that root ball, make sure it's good and tight. Also trying to get any dirt off the leaves if you got dirt on the leaves like I did, but I'm sure you didn't. I'm sure you did it perfectly without making a mess. And just getting it all around there. I got some dirt down in there. That's not good. See, that's, that's why the filter's on there. In case you make a mess like I did. Okay, now that I got it cleaned up a little bit, because I got dirt absolutely everywhere, um, let's go ahead and plug this guy in. I want to see it light up, and I want to see all the functions that it has. And we're going to go over those functions here in just a second. Um, this power cord is a USB plug-in, so you're going to need either like one of those power box things. I don't know what they're called or just like a USB plug-in. Um, and thankfully we have one of those here on our kitchen island, which is super nice. So we're just going to go ahead and plug this guy in. The place to plug him in is right here in the back. So I hope you all can see that. So plug in right here. And then we're just gonna plug this into the wall. And let's see, let's see if this one kicks on by itself. It's always a gamble whether they kick on by themselves or not. Okay, this one is not. So let's see here. So there are four buttons on the front of this. The first one is the light button for the plants. So you can turn that on. There are three different settings for this light. So you can either have manual, um, automatic, or standby mode. Um, and depending on which one you want, whether you want the light to pop on automatically for a certain amount of time or whether you want to manually turn it on and off or if you just want to have it off in kind of like one standby mode. This next button here is like a light protectant, like eye protectant. So if you don't want it so bright, if you want it to be a little bit um, a little less bright, you can hit this button and it will dim the light as you can see. And then of course, ultimately turn it off. So that is your light dimmer. This one right here, this third button with the three little like water droplets are your air purifier. So if we turn that on there, I don't know if you guys, oh yeah, you can see it, I think. So that is our air purifier, or no, I'm sorry, not the air purifier, the humidifier. That is our air humidifier, which is really cool. You can see it coming out there. Kind of does like little poofs, little, like little intervals. Oh, I think there's different settings. Yes, there's different settings on that one too. I read that as well. So you can have it come out as like intervals or you can have it out as one consistent stream. That's really cool. And then click it again to turn it off. This last one here is your air purifier. Um, this one you can't really hear, but this does the same thing. It either has intervals, it either has intervals where it turns on and turns off by itself or you can stick it on like a constant or you can have it on standby standby or just turn off mode. Um, now I will say that inside the instructions here there are lots of instructions on how to change the time, the date, how to set your alarm, how to um, turn on the Bluetooth speaker. All of those things are in your instruction manual and we will probably be here for two hours if I explain them all and show them all to you. Essentially it's really simple though it's just pressing a combination of these four buttons. So for example to let me make sure I tell you the right one here. <clears throat> Um, to change the time setting, you would just press and hold button one and two for a few minutes until it begins to flash, just like that, as you can see it flashing there, and then you can use those to change the time. Um, so the instructions are pretty clear about those things. 
Um, and yeah, so that's pretty good. I don't think I'll go into that. I will say the instructions to set it up are maybe a little bit confusing um, at the very beginning, um, just with all of the little things that you're putting together in the middle, but it it it's doable. It's not like, oh my gosh, I can't understand this. What is it talking about? So the instructions there are fairly decent. The instructions here for setting up the system and getting all of the electronical components going are really quite simple. I think this little system is really cool. I love that it has the humidifier setting, um, not only for us, but also for the plants. I know a lot of plants prefer a more humid situation than what our natural homes are. So that is really cool that they have a humidifier setting here. Also, it's really cool that they have like the actual air purifier. Um, I didn't know if the box was just going to say that it had an air purifier because because that's what plants do. Plants actually just purify the air for us. So you're kind of getting double duty there if you think about it, which is really cool. I love that it has its own night light and a speaker that you can hook your phone up to, a Bluetooth speaker, the alarm clock, the whole thing. I think it is really fun. I would love seeing this on a bedside table or on your desk at work. I think it would be really cool for those things. You can even just have it on your counter in your kitchen. I think it would be really awesome for that as well. Have a little speaker in your kitchen, have a beautiful basil plant or something like that growing out of it, I think would be awesome. So thank you so much to Ray Galaxy for sending this system out. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. And if you'd like to know more about the system, be sure to check out the description below. Well, that's going to be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. This system is really cute and we will see you in the next video.